All right, so this is the pipeline diagram and you can see um, how the instructions are executed once when, when this is the first instruction uh, which uh, moved forward from stage by stage until it reaches to its last stage. So once the, this instruction is in this phase, the next instruction is in its previous stage and so on and so forth. So there is one thing that is missing in this pipeline uh, architecture and that is the control circuitry because we need to have the control signals asserted for each instructions depending on what instruction is being executed right so if you look at the single cycle diagram so the control circuitry um, takes the input instruction and depending on what type of instruction it is it actually generates the corresponding control signal so control circuitry has to be added so what is the first step to add the control signals let's try highlighting those signals first so the first step is to label the control lines on the existing data path so in this figure um, we borrow as much as we can from the control for the simple data path so as far as the case for the single cycle implementation we assume that the pc is written on each clock cycle so there is no separate write signal for the pc so by the same argument, there are no separate write signals for the pipeline registers IF, ID, IDX, XMEM, and the MEM write back phase registers. Since the pipeline registers are also written during each clock cycle, so every clock cycle, these pipeline registers are automatically written, so there is no control signals for these registers as well as for the PC. Okay. So we need only set the control values during each pipeline state. Okay, so during the instruction fetch phase, the control signal to read instruction memory and to write the PCR always asserted. So there is nothing special to control in this pipeline stage. Once the instruction reaches to the instruction decoder register file read, the two source registers are always in the same location in the RIS-5 instruction format. So there is nothing special to control in this pipeline stage as well. So there is a reg write signal here, um, but we will not be asserting the reg write signal in this stage because the instruction which will be writing the data. So what does the reg write signal do? So it actually writes the data. It is specified that the register write um, register has to be written in the instruction. Let's say R type instruction add x1, x2, and x3. So x1 has to be written. Right, so this reg write signal will be asserted in the write back phase, so we will not be asserting anything in this stage. Also, once the instruction reaches to the X MAM phase, I mean the execution phase, so we have to set, specify the ALU source. What is the source of the ALU? The second input of the ALU, whether it is coming from the register file or it is coming from the immediate data. Okay. Similarly, we have to specify the ALU control signal. What operation is needed to be performed so the ALU signal uh, has to be asserted here so what we are trying to do is we will be generating control signals for all the for the instruction and if the um, instruction requires certain control signals to be used in this phase so it will be used here and the remaining signal will be moved forward into the next and uh, stored in the next pipeline register okay so similarly, when the instruction reaches here, it has to assert the branch signal, take the branch signal and the zero signal, and then it will decide whether um, memory has to be written or memory has to be read. So these signals must be asserted here. So, <clears throat> so the partial control circuitry diagram would look like this. We will generate, we will have the control unit between the instruction um, decode phase during the, in the instruction decode phase, okay? is here so you'll have the control circuitry here it will generate the signal corresponding signal and you can see alongside the idx pipeline register we are also storing the signal to be used in the execution phase which is right here and then the signals the control signal that are required in the memory phase will be transferred to the next pipeline register in the xmem phase and the write back write back signals are also transferred into this phase and then the memory signals Control signals related to memory will be used here, but the write back signals will be further carried forward into the memory write back phase and will be used here. Okay. <clears throat>
So you can see in the memory access control stage, we have the branch signal to assert, memory read signal or memory write signal, depending on whatever the instruction being executed. Okay, similarly in the write back stage, we will be uh, specifying the reg write, this uh, mem2 reg. So first of all, it will be specifying mem2 reg, where the data is coming from and the reg write. So if the instruction is writing into a register, so this is the place where the reg write signal is being transferred to the reg write signal. Okay, so the updated pipeline diagram with the control circuitry is this one. <clears throat> so you can see the control signals generated um, during this stage and the uh, control signals are stored in the pipeline register, uh, the IDX register, because the execution control signals are utilized here. There is no need to carry forward those signals into the next register, okay? So whatever the signals are required here, we, we just wire them here. And the memory phase and the write back phase um, signals are carried forward and stored in the XMEM register. In the XMEM register, you see the memory related signals are being used here, the branch and the zero signal and the other signal like whether to write a memory, whether to read the memory, so everything is used here. And the write back signals are only carried forward into the next stage. So here you can see the reg write signal is being asserted. If the instruction in this phase is writing the data into register, it will also assert this signal to specify that the register has to be written. What register? The register is specified by this path. And what data? The data is specified by this path, write data. And this mux also will decide whether data is coming from the uh, memory or the data is coming from the ELU, okay?